I told you. I already told you it wasn't me, man. Man, come on. I told you like like 20 times. I don't even I don't even know you. Bro. Listen to this crap anymore. Two hours. Think it'll clear up soon? What am I, the traffic man? I'm supposed to have been at the pen an hour ago. I'm gonna get written up for this. Oh, Traffic's relax. still backed up it's for not miles. Your fault. Never thought I'd want to get to prison. What the hell, man? What? You know. Cut it out. Jesus, you guys. You gonna make me? Yeah. Hey, Vince! Justin's gonna make me! It's too hot for this shit. Vince! I'm making him hot now! Yeah, Danny, you're making me hot. <laughs> I knew it! I got that Latin heat you can't resist. Come here, boy. Settle down, assholes. He started it. Hey, man. How about you open a fucking window? It's a prison bus, asshole. The windows hey, don't Justin, open. Hey, Justin! See right, that guy man. in the beat-up truck? Shit ain't right. I bet he Shut lives in that there. truck now. You probably got his whole house. Life savings. Shit. I bet you stole his dog. You steal his dog, man? I wasn't stealing from guys like that. Anyway, better than stealing his virginity. Hey, how many times I gotta tell you? Here we go. Seriously, I was falsely accused. How old was she, 15? Damn it, it ain't like that. You telling me there wasn't a star witness waiting around in your white van? I'm shocked. You were convicted, Danny. Gotta admit that much. Oh, come on, Vince. That don't mean I did it. My lawyer's gonna be hearing Tell about this. Tell you what, this. guys. I ain't afraid to say it. I'm really this. missing my girlfriend right now. You I'm guessing she's pretty pissed nerve, at you. Man. It's I worse than that, man. She won't talk to me. Mouth. Haven't heard her voice in months. She's really messing with me, like for real. Just let it go, man. I want to, but you know. I love her, man. Danny, I know you don't realize this because you're you, but you probably ruined that poor girl's life, you piece of shit. Big talk from White Collar back there. How many lives you wrecked, kid? Who cares? Hotter than hell up in here. I'm getting dehydrated. Hey, how about some water back here? Shut I up. I thought you back took the there. stand and cried your eyes out. I'm telling you again. Didn't you lose your yeah, shit and tell them you didn't know what you were up, doing? Or I'll set you up. I lied. Turns out I'm good at that. You lied on the stand? See, that's the kind of shit I could never do. Religious? Nah, no, man. Watch a lot of cop shows? Nope. What then? It just ain't right. Oh, give me a break. I gotta admit, I'd say anything to get out of doing more time. You guys are messed up. Says the criminal. You wanna know the funny thing? I don't regret any of it. I carried my victims for years. They knew what they were getting into. And now here I am, and there they are. And Wall Street assholes pulling the same scores are smiling on TV. Fuck that. How did it all work, anyway? It was like, uh, a pyramid scheme. Aren't those kinda shit? It was a really good pyramid scheme. Fuck Wall Street. Fuck Wall Street. Fuck Wall Street. How much did you make off with, anyway? Enough. So, like... Couple hundred K? A little over a hundred. Million. God damn, boy. Oh, ho. when we get out of here, you, me, and Vince, we gotta go into business, know what I'm saying? You know, I don't actually know a thing about you, Vince. Maybe he's a priest. Yeah, Father Vincent. I bet he touched a kid. Two kids. You touch a couple kids, Vince? I helped my little brother. They send you to prison for that now? He was in trouble. 
had to help him out. I knew it was something stupid. You regret it, man? If you're saying what I think you are, I got respect for you, man. I don't regret it at all. Sometimes, you gotta do the hard thing. Yeah, I know what you mean. How'd they get you? Tossed the gun up on a roof. And? It was a good throw, and a roofer found it the next day. You gotta be kidding me. Man, you're bad luck, Vince. Bad luck, Vince! <laughs> That's not bad. What do you think, Justin? What the fuck are you gonna do about fuck it? Fuck you! Fuck me? <laughs> fuck you, motherfucker! Oh, Jesus oh, man. Christ! What the hell is going on, Crabtree, yeah. knock it off! Yeah. Yeah. Hey, get in there, man! Got? Sit down, goddammit! Hey, let him go, man! Damn, Damn it, Crabtree! Don't make me come back He's now. gonna kill him, Vince! Let the guard handle it, guys. Fuck that! We gotta get in there! You do not want to get in the middle of that shit, Danny. Vince, we gotta do something. You know this ain't right. I'm not doing any more time to save some stupid ass. Where's your empathy, man? Where's your common fucking sense? Help him, Danny! What's that? Speak up, boy. I can't hear you. chain's too short! Crabtree, I'm warning you one He's last time, goddammit! You gotta get, you get in get there! Get yourself in there and wait that shit up, Come on, man! Come on, boy! Get back there! Okay, asshole. Let him go! Get in between them, goddammit! He's gonna kill that boy. Crabtree? Last what warning! Are you waiting for? Knock Let him out! Go, goddammit! What the fuck was that? Fuck. Jesus. What happened? What did you do, boy? Goddammit, boy! Answer Damn. me back there! That guy's there. still alive! Get those cuffs off him, man! What the hell was that? He he made a move on me. I, I, I don't know. He made a move, or you don't know. Which one? This is crazy. Nobody had to die. This is what happens when you give guns to assholes. He's uh. Fucking fuck! You gotta call someone, man. What? I'm calling this in. Don't, don't call it in yet. Just, just wait, okay? Just give me a damn minute. Dispatch, come in. You killed that guy. You gotta deal with it, man. I just need a minute. I need a minute to think. You ain't got a minute. Shut up, you hear me? Just shut your mouth! Okay, okay, calm down. Take it easy. Oh. Quit waving that thing around before you get someone else killed. Oh, you gonna get smart with me now? Vince! It's okay. Just back off. We all need to take it down a notch. You really want to pull that trigger again, son? Thanks, man. What the fuck? Did you see that? I saw it. Yeah. Hey, you gotta get us the hell out of here. You're not going anywhere! Fuck that. Get this bus moving. Hey, driver, I said, let's go, we're man. We're staying right here. We're safe inside the bus. Nothing's gonna. Holy oh, shit! Jesus. Oh my God. Hey, hey, you need to call someone. You hear me? We need to. Did he just bail on us? Oh, Jesus. What the hell, man? Back up, back up. Fuck, fuck, fuck. He can't reach us. You sure about that? That ankle's gonna get. Shit. What are we doing, guys? Come on! We gotta do something! Find a weapon. What kind of weapon? Where's the guard's gun? Yeah, yeah, the gun! Good thinking, Justin! Where the fuck is it? I think he fell on it. It's underneath it. Oh, fuck me! Get the gun, man! Pick it up, Vince! Hurry up! Shoot this asshole, Vince! Do it! Oh! Watch it, man! Sorry. Sorry. Man, I can't believe this shit. Can you believe this shit, man? No. We gotta find some way to get out of here. Damn it. 
We can maybe get out through the front of the bus if that cage door is unlocked and if we can get out of these chains. How are we gonna get out of here? Whoa, whoa, watch it! Ain't gonna work! Where are the damn keys, man? They weren't on him. Well, shit, if the keys aren't on him, then where the hell are they? He must have left them up front. Maybe we finally caught a break. Danny, help. Hey, buddy! What the fuck? God damn it, Danny. You always put your fucking foot fuck in. you, man. We gotta get out of here before any more of them show up. That's not gonna hold. Vince! Fire the fucking gun! I think you just pissed them off. Yeah. Yeah, save the shells. Vince! Shoot those crazy fucks! Keep shooting, Vince! Chain runs through that loop that's welded to the floor. Chance of busting that. How the hell are we gonna get out There's of here? There's gotta be a way. Can't we just shoot off the chains? No way. Wouldn't cut through. What about the cuff? If we shoot one of those off, the chain will slip right out. Are you fucking insane? What do you think is gonna happen if you fire a shotgun that close to someone's Well, foot? what do you think's gonna happen if we don't get the fuck out of here? Vince, give me the gun! We gotta do this! Back off! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Vince! What the fuck? You're gonna do me and not this rapist fuck? Hey, I know you're a good guy. You know I don't deserve this. Okay, I know I'm a fuck-up, but Jesus! I'm sorry, man. Fuck you! Do it! Hurry! Justin's just gonna slow you down. Do it again! Come on, let's go! Why the hell did you shoot that guy, man? What the hell was that? I didn't mean to do it. It just happened, okay? Where the fuck were you with a warning? Me? You're putting that on me now? I didn't see the guy either. I was too worried those dudes were gonna pull guns on us. Shit! Dude, how they catch up to us? Who gives a shit? Just... <laughs> Hurry up, Eddie! Here, man. Shoot! Get him, man! Feel that look on me, man. I'm not being an asshole. I'm being smart. No lights, no, uh, you know, they can't see us. Christ, I can taste blood in my mouth. I don't think it's mine. 
can't see a damn thing out here. Crashing into a cow ain't gonna help anything, Oh, man. shit! I should watch out for cows! Cows! Why didn't I think of that? When's the last time you saw a cow, dude? Okay, bad example, but you could still hit something, man. God, I can't believe we're in this shit. Don't barf just yet, okay? Please, this road is really straight. We'll be fine. At least slow down. What? Fuck no. Did you see that one guy's eyes, man? He is fucking gorked. I don't want that guy in my life, Wyatt. What if there's something in the road? Doesn't matter. We gotta get the fuck away from those guys. They are A-grade fucking mental. It's about time. I will punch your eyes. See? It's fine. Road straight as my dick. You think we're in the clear? Not till we get out of this fog. Was that a pun? No. When did you start making puns? I said no, idiot. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's Tom Cruise out of here. Please, never talk again. See if there's still any sticky in the glove box. I don't see anything. Dude, it's in there. Look harder. I don't see it. What I do see is that ammo that you lost last week. Oh my god, really? But is there any weed? You know, one time I was going out with this girl, right? Abigail. You remember her? And she told me that when she was five, I think, her dad took her to the circus sideshow. They walked around for a while, saw the chick with two heads, saw a dude with lobster hands, some kind of monkey human with a... Thank, loading the gun is probably more important right this second. Thanks. Okay. Weird, but okay. Shit! Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Did you get a look? I think that was a guy. Wyatt, come on, man, say something. Was that a dude or not? What the... The fucking fog. This night is so fucked, man. I, I, I don't know. It was too fast, man. Man, don't say that. You have to know. Dude, you have to. Let's see if there's anything around the car. You know, anything that'll, like, tell us one way or the other. That way, we can just book. But I'm not leaving if we hit a human being, man. I'm just... not. Man, don't roll it down broken. I can't see through the cracks. Look, it's fine, see? Dude, what's that on the broken side mirror? It's part of a shirt, I think. Yeah, but plenty of dead guys have shirts on. Keep looking. You think that blood on the windshield is fresh or rotten? Is that the mirror from the car? Can't tell from here. What's that way out in the road? Does that blood look fresh to you? Yeah, but it's kind of dark. Yeah. Damn. Man, I'm really not seeing anything. Seriously, you think some piece of that guy made it into the glove box? Man, I don't know. Look, Wyatt, it was a guy. Are you sure? Yes. How sure? Pretty fucking sure. Don't fuck with Tiny Carlos, sure. Jesus. So what do we do? What do you mean, what do we do? We go out there. Go out there and what? Find the guy and help him. Who the hell are you tonight? If it's a guy. It's a guy. I saw him. Come on, man. This is stupid. We go out there, we check it out, we get moving. Both of us? I mean, I don't know. Me? I hit the fucking guy. One of us should stay here, though, in case. Okay. Well... Shit, okay. 
Here, we'll rock, paper, scissors for it. Are you fucking serious? No. Come on. Sitting here is making me nervous. Man, I can't believe I'm doing this shit. Dude, two seconds, it's over. All right, two out of three, right? Sure. One, two, three, go. Shit. All right, all right. Okay. All right. One, two, three, go. Fuck! What are the chances of that? Okay. One, two, three, go. Ugh. I knew you'd pick rock. You always pick rock, dude. It's stupid. All right, dude. This is it. Shit. One, two, three, go. Shit, man. <laughs> Insane. Okay. Again. One, two, three, go. Balls. Balls, balls, balls. Okay. You and your damn rock. Looks like it's me. Anything out there? I can't see a goddamn thing. Eddie, you see something? Hurry up, man! Dude, leave me the fuck alone, all right? This is my speed. Here, in case we need to get out of here quick. Way to go, idiot! Hey, Wyatt. I ate paint when I was a kid. Die. Shit, where the hell did they go? This is the smallest hoopty in the world. There you are, you piece of shit. Why didn't he just leave them in the ignition? Shit! Ah! Come here, you little bastard! Walking forever. Ah, I miss the days of taking shortcuts. Hey, you getting up? Good. Shouldn't have maybe taken so many cans. I should probably hurry. Shit, shit, shit. I see you cuddling with your girlfriend down there. Shit, bro. Fuck 
you, man. Get out of here. That ain't very fucking nice, kid. I ain't no kid. You gotta be careful. These ain't times to piss off a stranger. Look, I don't care what you do to whatever corpse you find. I wasn't. What's your name? Don't matter. What? You don't like the name Russell? Well, maybe that's just the name of the guy you or your homies robbed, huh? I don't care who you steal from, if you did. Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob people. I don't know. Are you in a crew? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? Because you steal from me and I'll get your throat out. I don't care who you run around with, you understand? It's mine. I didn't steal it. All right, good. I don't like thieves. Just get in the car. You're gonna get eaten out here otherwise and I'm bored. Come on, scoot. I ain't gonna wait forever. Fine. Fuck. See if I give a shit. You take me to Statesboro? I'm trying to get to my grand's house. Fuck, she liked to party? Just get in, we'll get there. Or somewhere, eventually. <laughs> Name's Nate, by the way, thanks for asking. You thirsty? Uh... Here you go. I'm straight, thanks. You're not uptight, are you? Is this the fucking apocalypse? This is like... nothing. No, I'm just good, alright? Alright, alright. You wanna tell me about where you come from, at least? You must have been with a crew. Any tail back where you come from? Maybe drop you off, do a double back. Can we just drive? We? Oui. You wanna sit on my lap? I just don't wanna talk. You're a tough little nut, Russ. Look, man, I'm sorry if I freaked you out at first. We all got our way of coping with shit, right? I guess I can come across a bit... Ah, whatever. I guess. There you go. Relax. We're gonna have some fun. Why don't you tell me where you were before you got here? Fine. There were seven of us. I didn't have any family there or nothing. They were all at my grand's down in Statesboro. There was a dad who had a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. Then a teacher and his wife. The leader was this guy, Steve. Go back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic number, so we didn't add nobody to the group. We found survivors. It was the same every time. He... He... Let it out, Paco. Just, we gonna kill these folks and take this stuff or what? Then bang, they'd be dead. Anyway, I, I couldn't handle that. After weeks of it, I packed my shit up and figured I could make for grands alone and try to find my family. I slipped out of there. I couldn't live like that. So nobody got down with the daughter then? No, they didn't. What would you give her? Strong six? Just tell me something about her. How was the rack? Give me a little something. Just a taste. Russ, I'm doing you a service here. I gotta get my beak wet. I'll put it right in here. You're fucking rude, man. Oh, you're Miss Manners, that it? Let's try again. All right, maybe someone who wasn't so near and dear to your heart then. The fuck? Come on, scale of one to ten. What do you think? Ah! Slamming before she was robbed, right? What do you think? Here, get a look. Fuck! Ah! Like a nine, right? Get off me! Maybe you got high standards. Oh, help! If you say five, 
I'm gonna flip. Five. Tell me, Russ. Five. Fucking five. Oh, come on. Damn it. Would you load that? Bullets in the glove there. Let's look for some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Don't be mad. Fine, be mad. Just stop being a pussy. Or keep being a pussy. I... Oh shit! Go! Get out! Russ! Get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! You got bullets this time? Don't think about it! Just run! I'll keep his fucking head down! Good hustle. What happened to- I'll cover you! Look how good you did! Alright. What are we gonna do? First, we're gonna figure out exactly where this asshole is. Just get a quick glance. Down! See? Easy. Now we know where he is and we can fucking get him. Alright, yeah. That's the spirit. Let's push this truck for cover. Okay. It's in neutral. Just keep your head down. Just keep pushing! Shit! Push! Uh, uh, End of the road. What now? We're gonna get around the side of the building. We gotta go from cover to cover. Seriously this time. I'm not fucking around. You gonna cover me? If we get to that car... We'll be out of the line of fire. Here. You can cover me first. I'm not fucking around. You cover me, then I'll cover you. If you want to go first, that's fine too. I'll cover you. You go first. Just shoot at the window and keep that fucker's head down till I get where I'm going. Then throw me the gun, and I'll do the same. Ready? Yeah. You ready, Russ? Cover my ass now. Remember, don't stop shooting. Fire! All right, throw me the gun, and I'll cover you. Go! Good job! Now what? We get over there and we should be good. Go! Thanks. We're not done yet. Let's see if we can get in around back. Sneak up on this asshole. Follow me. Man, what are we doing? Well, we gotta get in there. Fucker shot at us. Russell, relax, man. When this is over, we're gonna take what we can, head on down to your grams, and have a big old home-cooked meal, all right? Come on. Watch out for that. What's the problem? Mm. 
Nothing. No problem. Then come on. Russ, come on. I think I saw a guy. No shit. Grab him. I'll cover you. Do I sneak up? Or just jump out and grab him? Your call. Fucking move! Walt! Oh! Get the fuck out of here, you monsters! Whoa, Gramps! I told you not to come back here! Think you could just leave your mask at home? And now you're with this fucking spook! First off, watch the fucking racism. This is my boy. Secondly, I don't fucking know you. We were just passing by like anyone else. Bullshit! You came back to finish us off and take all our food. You've lost your goddamn marbles. She's dying, and now she can see your face. Shut up. Mask? What's he talking about? Fuck if I know. He's crazy. Have you been here before? Russell, don't you start. You tried to kill us for no goddamn reason. If anything, we should take you out for that. Please, just get the fuck out of here. Please leave us alone. What do you say, Russ? Should we just kill these folks and take all their stuff? Are you serious? Maybe. Why not? That's fucked up! There are real fucking monsters out there! No shit. And you're just gonna joke about the shit I seen! Fuck you, Nate! I saved your ass! You didn't do shit! Easy, Russ. I'm not hurting no one. And don't you hurt these people either. Come on. Can we still be friends? No. Okay, got one. A snake for a tongue. You're so bad at this. Would you rather have a snake for a tongue? Awful. Or lobster claws for hands? Are the claws lobster size or human size? Human size? And make this easy on you. Well... I'm thinking. Think harder. And how exactly do you think harder? Lobster claws. Weirdo. Think of all the crazy stuff you could grab. All I'm saying is, good luck finding a man if you have lobster hands. Good thing I'm not looking for one, then. Okay. How about... Oh, never mind. I probably ought to stop bugging you with stupid hypotheticals. Oh, come on. You'd be a lot less fun. You've been a lot more fun lately. Feeling better? I guess I am. Well, you sure do look better. Though, uh, you gotta admit, anything is an improvement. 
That came out wrong. What I mean is... I mean, uh, you were... You were, uh... You know. Thanks, jerk. Hey, that's what I'm here for. Oh, to remind me how hideous I was. Nah. Make sure you keep on keeping on. I mean it, though. After we found you, you were still so hooked on that stuff. Well, I never thought you'd make it. You ain't out of the woods yet, I know, but... Well, you've come a long way, Bonnie. And I'm proud of you. You're a good friend, Leland. I know. Okay, you're not that great. Look, you know I ain't going nowhere, right? Long as we're together, I'll be there for you. You ain't gotta worry. You know that, right? What are you saying? Bonnie, I... Leland? Bonnie? Dee! Hey, honey. I found us something. What are you two up to? Just chatting. Chatting, huh? What about? Oh, uh, well, um, lobsters. Lobsters? Well, fishing. Figured it'd be worth a shot. For the food, you know. Leland, you hate fishing. That ain't totally true. And how many days you gone fishing? What? I go fishing all the time. Thought you, didn't I? I am a catch. Don't I know it. I got you a present. Oh, you shouldn't have. What'd you find? I'll tell you later. I don't mean to interrupt your chat with your, uh, girlfriend, but, uh, we gotta get moving. Girlfriend. So, where'd you get the bag, Dee? Dee? D, did you hear me? What's in the bag, D? I told you, it's a surprise. Hey, D, when we get back to camp, would you let me borrow some of that nail polish? Sure, hon. You like this color? It's my favorite. And after today, I could use a new coat, you know? Same here. I feel like a drowned rat with these claws. Not to interrupt the girl talk here, but uh, D, that, that bag. Look, I found it down the road a piece, all right? Where down the road? Some place off that away. Damn it, Dee, you gotta give us more than that. Was anyone there? I don't think so. You don't think, or you don't know? Those mean the same thing, Leland. Just tell us, baby. You guys sure gang up on me a lot lately. Honey, that ain't true. Tell me one time you sided with me in the last week. The last month. All right. I can't remember one especially, but I know I have. False. This is how all our fights go, every time. Now we're standing here in the woods, soaking through, and for what? Don't you want to get to the camp before dark? I ain't the one who stopped. Hush your but voice But you are down. the one who made me stop. Irregardless, we could just as easy carry on like this while we're walking. Oh, I've about had it with that attitude. Attitude? And now we're standing You're in gonna this draw goddamn every damn rain from miles in this around goddamn you middle of nowhere place. On you listen to me now. I have had it up I to here with listening to you. To blaspheme. I can't believe you are still. Oh, forget the both of you. I'm leaving. Don't leave, please. We can sort this out. Oh, Lord, give me strength. We'll straighten this out. We will. Right, Dee? We, we can solve this out. We just need to get somewhere else. Oh, now you agree with me. Bonnie, darling, I'm, I'm sorry we're... Darling! Dee, come on. Save it. I know what side your bread is buttered on. Yours, too. Dee, now's not the time. Whatever issues we got, we'll hash them out later. I refuse to get in the middle of this. Well, too bad. You already are. I'm sorry. I just want to get somewhere where I can change my clothes, and then you and your girlfriend can... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, God, run. Come on. We gotta move. What are you talking about? Oh, shit. Wait up, yo!
if you see them. Where are you? I don't see shit out here. Anything? No, I can't see a damn thing out here. Bonnie. <gasps> Dee? Oh, God, Dee! I I'm so sorry. Oh, God! <sighs> Why? You. Why? Do. Do. Do I love you? How bad is it? Why didn't you say anything? You, you should have said something. You. You did this. Oh, God, you killed me. You, you killed me. Anybody see anything? I should it's never dark out here. trusted you. Just... Just a junkie. Leland. She... She did this to me. You're gonna be fine, Dee. You're gonna be fine. Mm, liar. You did this for him. I, I, no, God, I'm sorry. I need him. I need you both. You bitch. Mary, you wanted him. Didn't thank you. Help the stones. Dee, I would never. I swear this has nothing to do with him. It was an accident. You fucking junkie. Did you find her? Bonnie, I, I thought they'd got you back there. Jesus, are you shot? Me. God, what happened? Oh, Jesus, oh, Lord, Bonnie, what happened? Oh, my God, D. Darling, what happened to you? Your face? Her face, Bonnie. It doesn't matter now, Leland. She's dead. We've got to move on. We can't stay here. I know, but just give me a minute. Tell me what happened. Keep gotta be closing in. She came out of nowhere. I thought she was one of them. I, I didn't see her until she was right there. You did this? You did this to my D? I don't... I don't believe this. I don't understand. How did it happen? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Leland. Bonnie. Back this way! Oh, I no, feel sick. Going... Which way? There! I'm sorry to do this to you, darling. I'll leave you here. Call out if you see this him. way. We can't stay here forever. I think I saw something over here. They went this way! What the hell are you doing? If she 
he's going to die for this thing, I for damn sure ain't leaving it behind. Hey, Shell, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? She's already changing. She dismisses things she cares about so easily. I guess you kind of have to when you've already lost so much, but I still worry. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Okay, but be careful. People's lives depend on those. We can't have them screwing up because we got lazy. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. Looks weird in here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you gonna find out? Yeah, in a sec. How we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. We should do an inspection on these. Make sure they all work. God, what I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee in the morning. Glad we thought to bottle our water before it ran out. Oh, you scared. 
scared me. He's hungry. Guess he knows it's feeding time. It's disgusting. Can't disagree with you there. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. This is far from an easy life, Roman. You know what I mean. She needs to know the sacrifices we have to make to survive in this world. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. <sighs> you just... You can't go jumping out at people. Not anymore. It's not safe. But... What if I had a weapon? I could have thought you were a walker. What are you talking about? I... <sighs> Look, I... I just saw our walkers out back eating a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was... It was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but after a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it, and you want to protect it, and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell! Becca! Something's going on outside! What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. Come here! Everyone! Shit! Come on! We gotta find Roman! Let's mop them. It's okay to be there. Jesus. Largum. L My God. L Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. What did he take? Food, medicine, whatever he could get his hands on. Usual stuff. I couldn't get any other information out of him. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck the in. second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him on but his way. But what if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger if group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? We can't just let him go. It's too dangerous. Who knows if he has friends waiting to attack? Don't you think we would have seen someone by now? At least trying to negotiate to get him back. <sighs> that is strange. That doesn't mean anything. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, 
We lost Bree, uh, and then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. Vernon was out for the boat the whole time. And the second they left that boat unattended, we just stole it. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Roman's right. It's gotta be one or the other. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? We can't take the risk. We kill him. There's gotta be another way. Tell me, what if he comes back? With weapons, or, or a gang? Is it worth losing any one of us? Jesus, there really is no other choice, is there? We can't keep him here, and we can't let him go. Let's mop them. If there's even it's a so chance of him coming back, or telling folks that might try to hurt us, we can't risk it. I won't ask you to watch. But if we do this, we're all in it together. If this ever happens again, it's gonna be one of you pulling that trigger. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. It was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? After we had to kill that guy, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I wish things were still like they used to be. Well, Roman's too focused on making sure no one's able to break in again. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time. Roman isn't taking any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Did anyone see you leave? No, no one saw me. You've got to stop doing that. You're going to get us both in a lot of trouble. I don't see why it's such a big deal. We had another break-in just last month. Uh, Becca, you know what it means if someone were to see you and follow you back here. No one is following me. There's no one else out there. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you, uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. We can talk here. No. Just finish up here and come find me. And don't take too long. What was that all about? I don't know. Probably not good, though. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. How come no one's watering these? Hey. Shell, it's Stephanie. What? Romans got her locked up like some kind of animal. They said she was trying to escape. They actually used that word. Escape. Boyd, calm down. I knew something like this was going to happen, Shell. 
I said if we killed that man, we were heading down a dangerous path. And now look where we are. I'm gonna go talk to Roman. No, no, just take Becca and get out of here. You know I can't do that. Things are good here. We just have to stick together and follow the rules. Just don't do anything stupid. Hey, I heard about Stephanie. Why did she have to do that? We're safe here. There's no reason to want to leave. I'm sure she had her reasons. I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Is this really necessary? Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Well, so what, Roman? Ever since the incident, this hasn't been an easy place to live in. If she doesn't want to stay, let her take her chances out there. Well, A, she had most of our seeds, medicine, and ammo with her. And B, you know we can't let anyone leave who knows where we are. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? You said that next time, it'd have to be one of us. You went along with it last time. But you weren't convinced it was the right thing to do. Now I need to know that you're with us. A hundred percent. Let's talk to her first. See if we can talk some sense into her. No. When she tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo, she knew that could mean the death of any one of us. If we give her a second chance, she might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. <sighs> Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of supplies and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to- Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? Because this place isn't safe anymore. Ever since we killed that stranger, things have been different. Roman's not trying to protect us anymore. He's trying to control us. But it's safe here. I mean, yeah, I want to get away every now and then, but I would never leave. That's crazy. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there, in the drawer. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now.
I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. Shell, it's time. Why are you just standing there? Shell, come on. What are you doing? Shell? Shell, what the hell? Sit down, get safe. Hey! Shell! Hey! Shell! Be safe, I promise! Shell, What the fuck? God damn it! We were right. There are survivors out here. Still alive? Oh, they're gonna be happy to get rescued. So how many are we talking about? Around five, I think. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. So good. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Be careful. Don't try to force him into anything. Just get as many of them as you can. We should probably split up into two parties. You got it. Hey! Don't shit! <laughs> Don't fucking move! Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. How did you find us? I found your note. I'm a scout for a growing settlement up north. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food, clean water, and shelter for everyone. We're offering you a chance to help us out and start over. God, this sounds too good to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because you have to tell the truth all the time doesn't mean everyone else does. If I didn't trust people, I'd be dead. I know that for sure. People can care about you if you let them. Like Leland cared when he let you run off alone? That's enough, Becca. I heard rumors about these places. This guy I was traveling with ditched me trying to find one in his own. He thought, you know what? Let's do this. She looks well fed, right? And clean? We could all use a meal and a hot shower. Wait, you find survivors? Do you find a lot? Not as many anymore, but... Well, we gotta go. Eddie might be there. Quiet. Look, we need people. Plain and simple. You folks can decide if you want to come as a group, or split up, or whatever. But I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. So in a few minutes, I'm gonna be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. Well, I'm going. Maybe we should go too, sis. If Roman is still looking for us, he wouldn't be able to do anything to us there. There's no way that guy is still looking for you. We've been to that truck stop. There's no one left. Roman's not a problem. It's following her that'll get you killed. Look, I know it's a risk, but what else is there? If you guys are going, then so are we. I don't like this, guys. We should just walk away. I don't trust her. Of course you don't, Russell. You don't trust anyone. What will it take to convince you? I don't know. Russell, come on. I don't understand what the problem is. Are you really considering staying out here? Foraging for food like fucking raccoons? I mean, then why did we even leave the photos there? Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. 
We've all seen it. Well, we turned out all right, didn't we? Relatively speaking. What are we gonna do? Eat you? Are you gonna eat us? No, that was a joke. I'm sorry. Look, I know you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. And yeah, there are some crazy fuckers out there. All I'm here to do is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. The choice is yours. So, who wants to come with me? Yeah, I'm going. Yeah, I have to. I'm, I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long and seen so much bullshit. I mean, is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. But being smart, that's what's keeping us alive. We have people of all ages in our colony. Teenagers, whole families. It's a chance to reconnect with people the way you used to. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well, I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? This is a good thing. I know it is. How do we know this will work out? I give you my word. 